how to create an HTML listing report on JotForm. Follow me to my desktop to show you how. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to display an HTML table listing on JotForm. So the idea of this is to grab one of our forms, create that table listing, and have a link that we can share so people can view it in a list view. And we can also use that table to embed it on a website, which I'm going to show you how on this video. So let's get started. First thing that you're going to need is select the form that you want to create this report. In this case, I have this form that has six submissions. So I'm going to select it and we're going to get these options on the top. So what I'm going to do is click on reports and then I'm going to go down here where it says add a new report. So let's go ahead and click on it and we're going to have these options available right here. For this case, we're going to select HTML table listing. So let's go ahead and select it. And the first thing that we're going to have here are some a couple of options that we're going to have to enable or disable depending on your table. So first off, we have the report name. So in this case, we'll leave it as restaurant reservation table. That's what we're going to call it. Well, let's add table listing. There we go. And then we have the option for fields that we want to display. By default, they're all selected, but it's going to depend. Maybe we don't want to display the email or certain fields of the form submission that we won't we won't we don't want to display so in this case we disable what we don't want to show so let's keep it like that we're just going to disable the email just for testing purposes and then we have reports configuration do you want to use password protection and if we enable it we add a password to this just in case you don't want anyone to view the table without a password so that means that if they have the link or they go to the embedded side and if it doesn't have a password they can view so let's go ahead and remove it because we're, we're going to make this public. Do we want to display a photo instead of a link? So if we want to display an image, we can do that. We can show edit URLs, show edit URLs to open in the same frame. So those are, are, are the options that we have. In this case, we'll leave these blank for now. We're going to go ahead and create. And now we have the report link. So this link is shareable. We can share it with anyone. Let's go ahead and copy it. And we're gonna go ahead and open this in an incognito mode. That means that anyone with this, with this link is gonna be able to view this since we didn't password protect it. That means that if you share this link, they can view this. Now, we're gonna be able to view, for example, IP, submission ID, submission date. These might be fields that you don't want to display. And we can turn these off on the options. So in this case, let's go ahead and close this. But what happens if we want to embed this on a website? So instead of sharing the link, you can embed this in any part of your website. So in this case, let's grab this iframe. So in this case, I have this demo website, which is any ordinary website. In this case, it's a WordPress site. And what we're gonna do for this, we're gonna embed it on this site. So let's go ahead and go into pages. Let's go into the home page. Let's go ahead and edit this and we have the edit options for the home page. So for example, if I hover over this, we're gonna add an element. In this case, we'll add a custom HTML. This is Gutenberg, which is the default builder for WordPress. If you're using another type of builder, the settings might change a bit, but you just need an option to add a code or HTML. So let's paste our iframe code right here. Let's go ahead and update this and let's go preview this. So let's go ahead, go ahead and open this. Let's scroll down. And here is our data table, our HTML data, ta data table. Do you see how easy that was? Now, in case we want to center this, I would just add a little piece of code right here. So for example, in our coding, in our editor, we're gonna add this simple code. We're gonna say centered, okay? We're gonna add it there and we're gonna add it to the end also of our code. Let's again, update it. Let's go ahead and preview this refresh it and now we have it centered so it's embedded on our site anyone who goes to this site where this code is embedded they're going to be able to view this table listing which is super useful for several reasons if you want to display data or maybe you have a submission listing of affiliate links or any use case that you might want to give it you have that table listing available and embedded on your website well, that is how you create an HTML table listing on JotForm. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.